Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and here's the latest update from Ukraine. I'm from Ukraine myself and let's go first to the videos. Yeah, some of the recent videos from the front line. This is a Russian soldier carrying RPG to fire somewhere. He has a white badge, so yes, it's a Russian soldier. He's staying in this place unaware that he was filmed on some kind of special drone. The drone is special because it can carry those mines that can explode and send the shrapnel all around. So you see what happens. The guy fires. It was his last uh, fire in his life. And the mine just... But still I have to stop the video here, my friends, so sorry about it. Uh, the mine hit over here, but because of the shrapnel, you may expect what happened to that guy. Let's go to the next video. All right, we have tons of videos like that. So Russian tank M72 was captured by Ukrainian forces and the reason is the fuel starvation because of that uh, the tank just stopped and the crew left it so our guys came with the fuel refilled the tank and <laughs> yeah we have a new tank have lots of zzz here the paint was good using uh, by russians you see and our guests tried to paint over with the spray but unsuccessful so i think it's quite risky yeah then you have all of these Z signs, so then you capture the vehicle to come back to your side <laughs> because everyone will see, okay, this is the Z, ta Z tank, we need to use the Enlo or Javelin to hit it. So it's kind of risky. The similar thing happened to this uh, Russian rocket artillery system, Solnce Perk, that probably got just taken them out. So the rain had just been there for the time. And uh, yeah, I wonder if we have the rocket shells for the system to be used in Ukraine probably not it's a short to middle range rocket artillery system you can clearly see the marks O here O means Russian as well uh, together with Z, V and uh, other letters from Latin the video of Russian position that was ambushed by our artillery and our army the interesting thing here our troops were able to find is this uh, the washing machine why should you need the washing machine on this on this remote place so that's what they do they just break into our homes and they take whatever they see okay here's the russian helicopter mi-24 that was shut down near to the Kharkiv. at least it used to be a helicopter now it's just a piece of metal that's the part of the engine everything just scrapped it has uh, two of the engines uh, turbo shaft engines that connected to the single rotor this is the registration number so you may check it uh, everywhere on internet and this is the part of the wing of the helicopter helicopters uh, do not need wings to fly however those military they need those uh, to carry uh, the weapons you probably have seen the footages filmed from Bayraktar drone that we use against Russians so those Raptor boats were destroyed then they were attempting to get themselves to Snake Island but the surprise that this boat actually was used by the Russian president. Uh, so yeah, one of those was actually the parade boat for Putin. Uh, you see it's white color, it's a raptor with Russian symbols on the back. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's really funny. And here's the Putin himself <laughs> with the generals on that boat. <laughs> Putin, you lost your boat somewhere maybe you just convert it or oh, have one more parade ball so that one was uh, with number 001 and this one 002 probably backup boat for Putin but clearly with the Russian symbols <laughs> you haven't lost it Putin it was converted to submarine by Ukrainian army so no worries about the Russian missile attack in our cities well yesterday it was more or less okay uh, so no casualties from what I know from civilians at least our first president of independent Ukraine Leonid Kravchuk had passed away yesterday evening after the Soviet Union collapse it was quite hard for us to live here in Ukraine the old system disappeared the new system wasn't built 
and this transition was uh, we were struggling here my friends it was even hard to find the proper food and then you have many kids um, so we have hyperinflation no jabs he was a president just for one term but uh, yes some of his reforms were successful some of them not uh, the biggest disadvantage i would say that we gave up nuclear weapons uh, obviously united states insisted that we should give up uh, nuclear weapons if we had them now it wouldn't be uh, that hard for ukraine to fight against russia russia would not just enter ukraine if we will have uh, if we would have some nukes and some awesome news for ukraine the land lease approved it was signed by biden and the bill for it increased up to 40 billion dollars my fellow friends from america thank you so much for your kind support of ukraine thank you so much for paying your taxes thank you so much for supporting united states policy to help ukraine against russian invasion Thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, today I'll come up with some news uh, from the chart a little bit uh, later. And if you want to support this channel, please uh, press the like and subscribe for it. And if you want to have the access for the special perks from my side or you want to support this channel, you may join our awesome Patreon team or you may just go to the link uh, to support me through the PayPal. All the links I put just in the video description below. I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.